Hey guys, what's going on? Sorry it's been a little while since I've taken a video. Uh, the tank is kind of just on a cruise control right now. I haven't been doing anything to it. I'm just letting the uh, storage and reapings grow out more so I can propagate that. Uh, it's, it's just about ready soon, so I'm, I'm, I'm going go, to go from 270 stems to close to 400 stems. So that's kind of exciting. Um, but right now, as you can see, I have the CO2 reactor pulled out of the tank, out of the, out of the system. That's because this Marineland C530 canister filter... Um, just creates too much flow and these bio balls weren't creating enough turbulence in it so the the added flow was just grabbing the co2 bubbles and, and just taking them to the tank so uh, i had to turn up the co2 quite a bit to get uh, the, the, tr the drop checker green which means these little 24 ounce 24 ounce co2 tanks that i've been using paintball tanks just aren't cutting it so what i did was I went on plantatank.net and made a post in the equipment section and asked the guys if they knew of a uh, adapter to go from my um, Aquatech Mini Paintball Tank make Aquatech Mini Paintball Regulator to a regular CO2 tank adapter. And everybody said, "Oh no, it doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. You're out of luck. Just sell it and get a new regulator." It's like, "Oh well." Turns out I found one. You can see the blue bit right there. That yeah, takes it from. Uh, paintball threads to or male paintball threads which is what I needed for my regulator to female regular threads I found that that's made by aquatic life um, let's see if it has the part number on here if not I'll leave it a, a link to the description below I got it on Amazon it was like eleven dollars no it doesn't have one in there it comes in a little package but what happened to mine was it didn't come with an o-ring that it's supposed to come with you can see right there a gasket didn't mine didn't come with one so when I, I didn't know it needed it I just you know I've used adapters before I'd assume you just put the thing on the thing and, and then push go so I did that and then what happened was there's a hole right here this little hole on the regular on the adapter the co2 was just spewing out of that so luckily the, uh, the 20 pound tank I have has a, a valve right there so you just turn that turn it off so then I took a look at this and saw that it needed a gasket so I called Aquatech today and they're out, they're right out of California, so they're pretty close. And they said they're they apologize. They're gonna get a, a gasket sent right over to me. So in the meantime, I'm not gonna have any CO2 for this tank. I'm not gonna spend another eight dollars to fill this when I have a twenty pound tank behind me fill. Um, so I'm just gonna do a black a couple blackout days. You know, tanks can go a few days without the lights on. I'm not have any problems with that. So that's what's going on with that now. But the reason why I have this reactor pulled apart out is because the added flow from the C530 was just taking a hold of those CO2 bubbles, like I was saying before. And um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out probably almost all of these bio balls and replace them with these uh, uh, pot scrubbers from the 99 cent store. I'm going to get those in there and that will add turbulence and reduce flow. So the CO2 in the reactor spends more time. Um, and also I don't mind reducing the flow too much. This, this uh, marine land filter does, does give me a little bit too much flow for this tank, especially with all the little neons and rash bores I have. So they were getting blown around. So I don't mind losing some flow. Especially that means my CO2 reactor is more efficient. So I'm going to cut the video right now and give me some, a chance to get these in here. These aren't going to be easy to get out. What I have to do is I have to unscrew the barbs and then use a pair of needle nose to manipulate each one of the bio balls to get it out. Um, I got it in there. I'm assuming I'll be able to get it in. And these I'm just going to really kind of scrunch and get them in there and manipulate them as best I can. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I was able to get I think five in there. I did leave a few bio balls just to, uh, to kind of give like a little air pocket for the CO2 to really uh, experience some turbulence with the water before it, you know, met its resistance. I don't know. We'll see how that works. No really good explanation of why I did that. Just something I thought would be a good idea. So we'll see how that works. Um, so yeah, I was it was more difficult to get these in there than I thought it was going to be. And I wasn't able to get as many as I thought I was going to be able to get in there. But we'll see how it works. Hopefully it works pretty good. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you how how the CO2 how it works with CO2 in this video. I don't have any CO2 right now, um, so yeah, I'll probably put that in another video. Um, also, I got my uh, I got my Aqua Aqua FX RODI system in the mail the other day, so stay tuned for that video. So let me get this all back up together and plumbed, and then I'll I'll cut to the conclusion of this video. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I was able to get the reactor back in the system. There you can see it is plumbed into the return line, so those of you who might be worried about those 
um, pot scrubbers grabbing onto debris, kind of acting like a mechanical filtration. Um, it, that is not as much of a concern because, it's, like I said, it's on the return. So there's that. There's the CO2 line that goes in. That'll be come over here to the. There's a drop checker. That'll come over here to the CO2 tank as soon as I get that gasket in. Um, I did get a new impeller for these. This uh, Marineland C530. It is a little bit quieter, but it's still significantly louder than the Marineland 360 I was using before. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. I, I just can't think of a way to make this more quiet than it is. Like I said, this this uh, a lot of you may, may as a lot of you may know this tank is in my room. So uh, I was try hoping to get this as quiet as possible. But anyway, that's another video. And the lights are out right now, so there's not really much more point showing you the return line from this system, but it doesn't look like I lost too much flow. It looks pretty consistent with what it was before, so I'll let you guys know in a future video how this new setup works out, and uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.